Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the spacebar and enter keys are not working properly on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. Type in Control Panel. Best match, I'll come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. You want to sort your view by by category view, and you want to select ease of access. Select ease of access center, and then you want to go down to where it says make the keyboard easier to use. Go ahead and select that, and you want to make sure where it says turn on sticky keys is not checkmarked, as well as the filter keys. So if these options are turned on here, you want to uncheck both of these, and then select apply and OK. And that should have been able to resolve the issue. You should be able to proceed on to your day. If you're still having a problem, something else you can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in device manager, best match. I'll come back with device manager here. Go ahead and open that up. And now you want to double click on the keyboard section. Just double click on that. Right click on the keyboard listed under here and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the standard keyboard driver listed in here, and select Next, and then go ahead and close out of here. You will need to go restart your computer to complete the changes, so go ahead and select Yes. And hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. One further thing we can attempt would be to check for Windows updates. So go ahead and search for Windows updates. So you go ahead and select check for updates. And now you want to go underneath advanced options on the right panel here. And then scroll down underneath additional options and select optional updates. If there are any optional updates in here, I'd recommend installing them, especially if they pertain to keyboard drivers. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.